Hi there, this is Mr Evans. Uh, in this video I'll be looking at the three different profitability ratios you need to know. Uh, you need to know uh, the following uh, profitability ratios. Gross profit margin, uh, operational profit margin or net profit margin as it's often called, and uh, the profit for the year margin. So, um, talked through this before, we um, We've got here uh, the numbers showing how profitable the business is, but on their own, um, these numbers are fairly um, irrelevant, difficult to comprehend. So to help us comprehend these numbers, um, it's useful to undertake some sort of um, comparison with other companies. Now other companies, business A makes £950,000 a year. What if you've got a multi-million pound business? What if you've got a business making a few thousand pounds a year? How can we compare these businesses and see which one is performing better in terms of um, turning its revenue into costs, which is the um, which is the, the purpose of many businesses. So um, the first uh, um, uh, ratio you need to be aware of is the gross profit margin. So the gross profit margin um, is this figure here. Um, it's calculated by working out the total revenue and subtracting the variable cost of production. Variable cost of production of the raw materials used to produce the good. So the uh, formula gross profit divided by sales revenue times 100, and it measures uh, the relationship between, uh, I should say, gross profit and sales. Um, basically, gross profit margin is a measure of how efficiently a business is controlling its variable costs of production. So raw materials, packaging, and delivery costs. Let's say a business works out their gross profit margin and uh, in uh, 2016 it's 15% um, and in 2014 it's 10%, um, sorry in 2017 uh, it's 10%. You know, it's gone down by 5% over the course of the year and that indicates um, that there has been uh, some sort of increase in the raw materials, the packaging, the delivery costs, um, and the business hasn't been able to pass on um, uh, this increase to its customers. Okay, it hasn't increased its sales price um, by as much as its costs have gone up by, and therefore its profit margins have fallen. Um, the operating profit margin um, is perhaps the main measure of a firm's profitability because it uh, basically it, uh, it takes into account the total costs, the um, variable cost of production plus the fixed cost of production. Okay, so the operating profit is here, uh, variable cost plus fixed cost. There's our total revenue. Take that off, and that is how much money we're left with. Um, this is really the primary efficiency measure. How effective is a business at controlling its costs? It's probably, uh, uh, in some ways, a more important measure than the profit for the year ratio, um, just because this is a business that's bread and butter, um, managing its fixed and variable costs. Um, and uh, if you have managed to maintain a gross profit margin of say 50% year on year and yet your uh, operating profit has fallen that's an indication that your fixed costs are increasing um, and uh, potentially getting slightly out of control um, so that would be rent advertising admin costs salaries uh, those sorts of things so that's how we interpret the operating profit margin uh, the final um, point is the profit for the year. Uh, now this is how much money is available for shareholders at the end of the day. So this might be a very important ratio for shareholders. Um, uh, it's our operating profit, take away the taxes, take away uh, interest payments, our, our cost of uh, debt, um, and that's how much money we've got left for the year. It also can include one-off costs. So, for example, if a business has bought a, um, uh, you know, an asset or sold an asset and got a whole load of money coming in um, from the sale of an asset that's not going to happen again, um, 
you know, we don't particularly want to um, include that in our measure, in our uh, uh, calculation of how efficient the business is, because that obviously that's not, it's not good quality profit, that's not going to happen again. Um, and so that's why operating profit, net profit, is often a better measure, and the net profit margin is often a better measure of efficiency. Nevertheless, you need to know uh, that uh, the profit for the year margin, calculated in exactly the same way as the other two, profit for the year divided by sales revenue times 100, um, and it measures how much revenue has been converted into funds that are available for shareholders. So. Um, uh, what are these profitability ratios used for? They're used predominantly to make comparisons between businesses um, from year to year and uh, they can help people to identify trends, what are going on in businesses, see if uh, you would want to invest in the business. Okay, so uh, I hope that um, covers profitability ratios for you.